Okay. I thought he was just a lone shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? Crane was a puppet, and the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Right, I have no idea. Lily? And Faith? Prostitutes. I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. Huh. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. <laughs> Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book. Oh, no. Straight as an arrow. You mean boring as Your shit? is driven snow. Uh -uh. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Huh. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? Be done and buried and we can all move on. I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Hmm. Right, exactly. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. <laughs> but this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? The filthy talking All pig. unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the oh, farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Uh, Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. <laughs> they know what a pig is. It's not the end of the world. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Oh, shit, I gotta make a decision? Who's calling? This phone call eased the tension. Quick, answer the phone. Wolf's residence. Would you like to change That's the long-distance service? Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. Whoa. But that she'll only tell you. Topless. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. <laughs> you always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. Something about your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a fly. <laughs> she knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. <clears throat> Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. In her pants. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. No shit. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. 
Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, now. When I'm done with her, She's huh? She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Huh. That was the right choice, I think. He doesn't even take a shower? Dude, you were just gushing blood. You had bullets in you. You don't even fucking wash. Or use the bathroom. What the hell? <laughs> he must smell awful. It smells like rotting flesh. Well, hello there. Topless. Little Miss Topless. Alright. Cool intro. That was action packed as the last episode, though. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I love this theme. It's really cool. Stylish, stylized intro. Beautiful. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, gonna get some Narissa titties tonight. I'm gonna get laid in my office, baby. Oh yeah, and then I'll bang for a while. Oh yeah, I'm the big bad fucking wolf, bitch. Come on. I'm the wolf, I'm the wolf. Okay then. Episode 4, In Sheep's Clothing. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. Still as half-naked as ever, I see. Is there going to be nudity in this episode? Because I'm not ready to block out anything. I'm serious, I'm not. This could be a problem. Maybe you should keep your dress on, honey. I... Um... Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... You know, around... If I came by. <laughs> Don't be fooled by... This. I didn't get the worst of it. <coughs> He's coughing blood. Oh, there you go. Shove a fucking cancer stick down your throat. That'll fix it. Good idea. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Huff and puffs. Get huff puff and blow the house down like the big bad wolf. Thanks. There's not a lot oh, that I can talk about. I wasn't about. paying attention. Shit. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Hmm. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell That's me. That's right, she had to find a way, way around it. Arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go hmm. ahead. Okay. It might work you're here because the crooked man just sent crane to the bottom of my list of worries and you have something you want to say about that right these lips are sealed nah if i could answer you just like that i wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you no i guess not sometimes we have to find our way through life on our own Grasping and fumbling in the dark. Oh. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. But now... They're gone. And I don't know what to do. What the... Hmm. Is this making any...